morning on Today investigates what appears to be a growing nationwide scheme, and it targets you when you're most vulnerable, locked out of your car or your home. NBC's Jeff Rossin is here with a consumer alert. Jeff, good morning. Hey, Ann, good morning to you. Look, we were just talking. It's happened to you. It's happened to me, too. And it's frustrating. You forget your keys and you get locked out. Desperate and standing outside, you call an emergency locksmith. But our investigation found some locksmiths are preying on customers, charging outrageous fees, and even using intimidation to shake you down for cash. Good thing our hidden cameras are rolling. Why is this man breaking into our house with a crowbar? No comment and walk away. Bye-bye. Why is this one destroying our lock, then running from our cameras? Is there anything you want to say? And why is this locksmith busting our door open with a drill, then demanding we pay him hundreds in cash? I don't have $635 cash. Maybe we could go to the bank or something? Wait, did he just ask this customer to go to the bank with him? I'm not going to get in the car with you to go to an ATM machine. That seems legitimate to you? What do you want me to tell you? What's your name? What's my name? What's your name? Jeff Rawson. Nice. News. Nice name. Our hidden camera investigation unlocks the shady truth behind some of these emergency locksmiths. They grab you with catchy web ads promising professional service at a great price. But when you're standing in the cold and call for help, who's really showing up at your door? I was just horrified. Janice Putnam was locked out of her condo all alone, so she Googled the local locksmith on her phone. I asked them how much this was going to cost me, and they said $39. I thought, oh, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky. This is going to be good. But when the locksmith got her back in the house, that $39 quote was gone. The new price, a whopping $833. I couldn't even think. I was like almost physically ill. Experts say locksmith schemes are a growing national problem, so we set up our own experiment, renting this home in suburban New York. We hired this licensed New York City locksmith to install simple locks on our door. He says any real locksmith would pick it easily. He showed us in just seconds. His charge for this job, about $100. There's no damage to the lock. It's a minimal charge to a customer, and it's the proper way to perform that service on a lockout. But what would other locksmiths do? To find out, we installed hidden cameras covering every angle around our door. Then we had this NBC producer pose as the homeowner, locked out after forgetting her keys inside. Yes, I'm locked out of my house and I need someone to help me get back in. Over two days, we had her call eight locksmiths, all advertising 24-hour service in our town. I'm so glad you finally got here. As each locksmith showed up, we were watching with our expert from a control room inside the house. I locked myself out, the key's inside. When this locksmith arrives, great news. He quickly picks our lock and charges us only $97. But our lock is about to change. Hi, I thought you'd never get here. This guy's company touts $15 locksmith service. But when he gets to our door... It's $100 on the $15 service fee. And he's just warming up. Instead of picking our lock, he tries to pry the door open with a board. When that doesn't work, he grabs our doorknob with pliers and rips it off. This is what I would do. Yes, that's why you're not a licensed locksmith. Now we're on the hook for a brand new lock and doorknob. Total price, $223. Jeff Rawson from NBC News. How are you? Is there a reason that you charge $223 for a job that experts say should cost about $100? You never tried to pick the lock. You didn't ask her for ID to make sure that she actually lives here. Is there anything you want to say? Believe it or not, in most states, locksmiths don't have to go through background checks or be licensed. This next guy wrecks our lock and charges us $253. What is your past experience? What makes you a professional locksmith? I didn't say I'm professional. His company later told us it doesn't condone his behavior. After every visit, we had our expert put a fresh lock on. And he says one after another overcharged us. We got to drill this lock because that's the only way to open this. This next guy immediately brings out his drill. Oh, look. He destroys our lock. 
then conveniently sells us a new one. The price, $265. You didn't even try to pick the lock. You just drilled right through without because even trying. Because I experience. I, that's what I do. Because you don't pick locks. In the movies, they pick locks. You can't pick a lock. The movies, huh? Remember, our real-life expert picked the lock in seconds. But of all the locksmiths we called, we were most shocked by this one. To drill the lock, it's going to be 275 Well, I need a lock, right? The new one is 225 We're already up to $500, and he hasn't even started working yet. Then he begins to drill. Final price, this time, $635. It's horrible. That's ridiculous. It's a $100 job. This is $600 he wants. Even more outrageous, he wants it all in cash. The credit card machine doesn't work. There's no way you could pay cash? I don't have $635 cash. Maybe we could go to the bank or something the bank when our producer resists the locksmith calls his boss and the price jumps again 685 you heard him 685 dollars then the boss tries to pressure our producer i don't carry over 600 dollars in cash on me tell him to take me to the atm and then he will drive me back home um i don't know Oh, my gosh, you can't get in a call with this guy. We don't know who he is. Hi, Jeff Rossen from NBC News. That's when we jump in. Experts say you could have picked this lock in under a minute, and it's a $100 job. You charged her $685 and then demand that she pay you cash. I think that's right. How can I help you, sir? You can answer my questions. Bend the camera off. Are you a licensed locksmith? Yes, I am. No, can you I can't see, your see license? anything. No. I'm just trying to figure out why you're trying to charge a woman more than six times what experts say that job should cost. What do you want me to tell you? Why are you standing back? You Excuse me? Huh? What? Huh? What did you say to me? What's my name? Yeah. What's my name? What's your name? Jeff Rawson. Nice. NBC News. Nice name. In the end, our expert says four out of the eight locksmiths we called charged us too much and mangled our locks in the process. And there's more. We found many of these online locksmiths are using fake addresses, is making it nearly impossible to track them down, even if you do have a complaint. We found some listed in parking lots and abandoned buildings, even churches and schools. Best way for consumers to protect themselves? Well, there are, there are a couple things. I mean, if you're in this situation, what you want to do is try to get the, the quote, the estimate, in writing before they even start working and say to them, I don't have the cash on me. Will you take a credit card? So you know and you can turn them away if you don't have the cash and you don't end up getting scared for your life in some cases. But there's actually a way to keep yourself out of that situation entirely. Today, before there's ever an emergency, go in your local town and look for a legitimate locksmith, you know, with the storefront where there's an actual manager and the boss. Get their card, program them, their number in your phone. So if you're in a jam, you have that in your phone. You're not uh, kind of the last minute Googling and looking for... Sounds God like good him. advice, Jeff Ross. And thank you so much. And thanks to Ada, too, for yeah, making Ada did that a great call. Job, I know. She was really terrific. <laughs>